Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Notre Dame is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. I'm James Mooney in Haddonfield for a first round matchup in the non-public A playoffs. Nine seed Notre Dame takes on eight seed Paul VI. The Fighting Irish look to score the win on the road and reach 11 and 0 on the year. The Eagles haven't lost since week zero and come in riding a seven game winning streak. Notre Dame gets right to work to open the game. Gabe Winowich breaks loose and gets in for a touchdown. It's a 28 yard rush for the Rutgers commit. The Fighting Irish jump out to a seven nothing lead. PVI is knocking on the door after a big run by Matt Morad. They go right back to him and he finds the end zone. The senior gets the Eagles on the board. The extra point is no good and Notre Dame leads seven six after one. Back and forth we go in the second. Dominic Santiago drops back to pass and he goes up top for Tyree Roan. The senior finds the sophomore for a 29 yard strike. PVI takes a 12-7 lead early in the quarter. The Fighting Irish look to answer on the next drive. Winowich gets the feed and walks in for six. Touchdown number two for the senior puts Notre Dame back in front 14-12. Paul the Six trying to retake the lead. Santiago floats one down the field for Austin Bailey, and he will do the rest. It's a 49-yard pitch and catch to the junior. The two-point try is no good, and PVI leads 18-14. Notre Dame running the two-minute drill now. AJ Serace looks to the end zone, and Michael Quinn hauls it in for a touchdown. It's senior to senior on the 12-yard TD pass. The Fighting Irish lead 21-18 at the break. Third quarter and the shootout continues. Santiago keeps off the left end. He finds a seam and he races in for six. The senior gets free for a 39 yard rush as the Eagles are back on top 25-21. Notre Dame's turn for a response. Winowich takes it up the middle and plows into the end zone. The senior goes for 202 yards and three touchdowns as the Fighting Irish lead 28-25 with 8.32 left in the quarter. The Eagles facing third and five in the red zone. Morad gets the feed and slices in for his second touchdown. The senior starting to heat up as PVI now leads 32-28. Both offenses putting on a clinic in this first round battle. Notre Dame rolling the dice on fourth down near midfield but this run is stuffed by the Eagles defense. Mo Keishan and Jalen Bishop leading the charge as Paul the Six comes up with a game-changing play right there. PVI trying to cash in near the goal line. Morad finds a crease and strikes Paydirt again. The senior scores his third touchdown of the night as Paul the Six leads 38-28 after three. The Fighting Irish lining up for a field goal early in the fourth. There's trouble on the hold, and the Eagles pounce. Paul the Six keeps the Irish off the board as they still lead by 10. Later in the fourth, Notre Dame is back in the red zone. Serace buys some time, throws on the run, and Max Pelzer comes down with it for six. Great concentration from the sophomore on the tip drill. The Fighting Irish make it a three-point game. But the Eagles keep things rolling on the ground. Morad takes the handoff and goes untouched into the end zone. Matt Morad rushes for nearly 300 yards and five touchdowns. Just like that, PVI leads 45-35 with six minutes to go. Notre Dame needs points in a hurry late in the ball game. Serace is flushed from the pocket and he is picked off. Christian Martin delivers the takeaway as the PVI defense continues to make big plays down the stretch. Under three minutes to go, Notre Dame trying a short field goal. The kick is blocked by the Eagles, and they recover. Paul the Six wins a Game of the Year candidate and picks up their first playoff win since 2007. 51-41 is your final. Paul the Six improves to 8-1 on the season. Notre Dame falls to 10-1. The Eagles embraced the underdog mentality and delivered one of the biggest wins in recent history for the program. It's crazy because when I when I came here as a sophomore and I transferred, we just wanted to turn the program around, get wins like this. Last year, last two years we were stuck at like seven and three. Finally got in the playoffs. Finally got a home game, and led to this. And it's all been hard work. It means a ton, you know. When I came here as a freshman, Coach Shearer told me we were going to build something special, 
it took until my senior year because the last few years we've been stuck. You know, uh, we'll, we'll win a bunch of games and in the playoffs. We'll get blown out every year. This year we knew it was going to be different, and he told me that freshman year coming in we were going to uh, be special. I told him they can't stop us, so we're going to we're going to continue to score, but we have to stop them. We have to somehow find a way to get a stop or two, and if we do that, we'll win the game because I knew they couldn't stop our offense. PVI now advances to the non-public A quarterfinals, and they will face top seed Bergen Catholic next Saturday. In Haddonfield, I'm James Mooney, JerseySportsZone.com.